Hi, this is a soft puzzle piece of art that I finished working. This is a photograph reference I've been using, a photograph I've taken myself of a broken down tree nearby Kirksall River Air. I've taken this photograph because it stood out to me for the break in the tree. I labelled it the eye of the tree of life. I've already worked on the paper. I forgot to record when I first started applying the soft pastels. But as you can see, I've got some trees in the background. I've got the sky, I've got the river. I've got the reflection of trees in the river. I've got the grass in the foreground. And right now I'm working on the tree trunks, the broken down tree. Which I found very interesting because it was still growing. It was still still growing. I don't know how, but somehow reason it's still growing. It's not the first tree I've seen like that. I've now finished laying down all the trees in the foreground. As you can see, I've got brown in the background, and that suggests to suggest some of the trees as well. I am working on the reflection of the green trees in the river at the moment. And I will be doing a lot of, not too much work, but a lot of work adding different tones into it. I haven't got any highlights yet, but I will be working on that now. Now I've added some highlights to the picture suggest sunlight hidden but more so to show where the break is in the tree a lighter brown than what the brown is on the bark because the bark is actually darker than the internals of the tree i've added it in some black to the bark suggest depth of the bark not every tree is the same but the bark has different depths and provide more shades so you get shades on the tree a little hard for me to explain because i'm not a nerd with trees but i've added in some darkness to the bark to show the different shapes that the bark can provide and i've added highlights to suggest the light shining on the top of the tree rather than on a side. I haven't focused much on which direction the light's working. Right now I'm just working a bit more on the foreground, adding in some browns for the dirt in between the grass. I will point out that using soft pastels can be very difficult with these ones, but you can get soft pastel pencils which would be great for detail work and that's something I'm looking into buying myself. I will not stop stressing about the whole point of this channel is watching me develop with my art skills as I go along which I find is quite different to what other people have uploaded on YouTube already. I'm going to point out, and this is something I didn't do, but I will be doing with my next soft pastel art, piece of art, and that is changing the tissue every time you use a different colour of pastel, so that you're not smudging in colours of pastel that you don't want there. And I will suggest you make sure you've got a cloth in your hands for every time you change pastel, because you're just going to be smudging in a different colour that you don't want. Right now I'm working on some trees in the, in the background which are slightly darker than others and that's either due to the sunlight or because of the type of tree that it is. But this isn't too bad for the first pastel art that I post online. It's probably the third piece of work I've used pastels for. But I'm doing this in my own time, hoping that I can get people subscribing to the work that I do 
giving me feedback on where I've gone wrong, even if the piece of art looks really stupid and gone horribly wrong. I don't mind if you pass a comment about it because it's the only way I'm going to improve. And hopefully I can get that thousand people following me on YouTube, following me on Instagram, following me on Facebook. Instagram, you need to look for Tailored Art 2020, Tailored Photos 2020, and Tailored Quotes 2020. I have it provided all this in links. Now I'm working on the finishing touches. I'm trying to get more green into the sky to suggest light sh sky shining through the trees or space in between the trees so you can see the sky. But you can tell the video is going quite fast through this. I am only just starting this channel, so I am a little paranoid at the moment for doing this channel because I don't know how people are going to react. If people react to any of it. But you will need to be using a spray called Flexitive, which puts a, let's say, I'm going to use clean film. It's not clean film, but it covers the page to prevent the powder from smudging. And in the past, I've used plastic wallets that you've put documents inside and taped that. Put a slit in the length for the, the air file size and put it over the top to try and stop the smudging, but still didn't work. But I'm trying this flexitive out and it might work quite well. I'll definitely be looking for different types of pastels because it was a messy job working with these pastels. And the pastels I used is actually called Master's Pastels and it's from Hong Kong. I've got 24 colours in it. I've almost finished the project now. I regret it being A4. I think if it was an A2 sheet on A1 sheet of paper, I could have had a far more detail in there. It would have taken me much longer. But as a starting point to learn past about pastels, is a great way. And I will point out that pastel is actually chalk that's mixed, mixed in with colour pigments. I need to walk, look up what the pigments are that they use, but pastel is actually a chalk. And that's something new that I've learnt. Now I'm spreading it quickly with the adhesive. It does darken the paper up quite a bit when you spray it and I think that's because it's wet. I haven't looked at it again yet to see if it's lighter, lightened up once it's dried but and there I am signing the piece of work again. This video is actually nine minutes long rather than the hour an hour's length piece of work. And that's purely because it won't upload unless it's really short. So I'm hoping that I can upload it today. And save the project. There's a photograph. That's the finished piece photograph. That's the finished piece 